I was in a market for a security cabinet and it had a budget around $200. And the ones that caught my eye uh, before I went with this one was a stack on uh, model. They go for like 129 to 199 at the 8 gun and 12 guns. Um, went to go check them out and um, didn't buy them, which I'm glad I didn't because I found them Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, they go for around $399, but they're usually on sale for $299. I'll pair it up with a 20% discount coupon and I got it for around $239 before taxes. And I gotta say that I'm very proud with my purchase over here. I read some reviews that you know there were some issues with the first model. Um, but this one, from my understanding, is the newer model. And they come in black now. The older ones are in green. So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I haven't really changed the combination. I'm actually going to do that after we do this uh, a video over here. And as you can see here, it's, okay, lock it right there. Pack 3 code is 159A, and it unlocks it. Turn this, pull this open, and as you can see, it is housing my small collection of firearms here. I didn't really need anything big. As I stated, I just needed a security cabinet. Wasn't looking into a gun safe approved unit by the DOJ. It's, this is not uh, fireproof. It's not insulated. Uh, but I gotta say, it's, it's very well made. Um, if you can take a look here, there's live locking bolts. I think there's around five of them. And the steel, I measured it, is around five millimeters or 0.2 inches very very solid this thing is around 240 pounds and it has enough room here for around eight rifles one thing i didn't like about this is that uh the shelving units um they go across so if you want to fit your rifles in here you have to put them on the top and as you can see there's a lot of space here that i can use uh to put more items in here maybe more cans or more ammo um, I'm gonna go ahead and fabricate something to go ahead and do that. Uh, I love fabricating stuff. I also see another added feature over here is a, another security cabinet over here. Maybe to keep your handguns or some jewels. Um, put my small Ivory Johnson over there that my grandpa gave me. And it's really nice here. And again, this is a pretty stick, uh, thick stick wheel. And take a look at this locking mechanism. Uh, if you see over here, the newer versions uh, come with uh, 4AA batteries, and this is the password reset uh, utility button over here. Then close this up, and what I do is I keep a extra set of batteries here just in case it goes out. Now, if you're concerned about this unit's uh, batteries running out, um, there's an override here. Let's go ahead and lock it up, and override is actually right here and you take one of your set of keys here that you're going to keep in a safe place and they give you two sets of keys go ahead and put a lock it up uh, turn it over here unlock it and you have it locked so yeah uh this is the harbor freight bunker hill security cabinet um it may look like a safe but I call it a security cabinet because that's what it, basically what it is. It's a very good uh, defense tool for any smash and grab. It doesn't protect your firearms through fires. But uh, if you need something with a very, very good protection, uh, I don't think a crowbar can get into this. Uh, one thing I did uh, to secure this more is uh, to go ahead and uh, bolt this down into my walls. Uh, I put some uh, wood backings on the back and I anchored it into my studs. Uh, and then the wood backing is anchored to these bolts over here. So yeah, this is not going anywhere. So, uh, hope you enjoyed my video and, you know, uh, leave some comments if you can like. Bye.